Okay, so basically the way this would work is uh, through electrical contact. So when we flip the typewriter onto its neck, you're going to see all the types are nicely laid out down here. And uh, this is where the circuit board will be uh, would be mounted. So uh, there are uh, lots of gold-plated contacts on the circuit board. Each time you strike a key, uh, that is just uh, going to create a, an electrical circuit. And uh, the board then tells the computer which circuit has been closed and thereby which key has been pushed. And uh, that way the computer knows uh, what letter to type. And um, to make it in the fashion that uh, USB typewriter suggested to do would be just a bar that is existing in the typewriter, so it's going up here and into the typewriter. So uh, basically to move the space key down, then fold the lever with the circuit board up onto here, reinstall the uh, space key, and uh, there you go. However, then the backspace key, which is this one, would be in the way because it's folding up on top here and there's no way this is going to uh, work because this is just too high for this. And um, basically, USB typewriter then says, okay, you need to remove it, so cut it off and bend it over to the side so you still have the function of it. For obvious reasons, I want to keep my backspace key, so I came up with a different solution. That is to come in between here. So basically, I uh, took this bar. On, onto here will be mounted the circuitry. And insert it into here. And then you're basically below the whole thing. So, um, the... Uh, you can see it's going to be a little bit fiddly when installing this. Uh, basically this bar will be here and still all the keys can strike it. It will be held on by spring tension or something. But the backspace key, the problem is uh, overcome because it's also no longer in the way. Now of course you need to have a way to hold this. And um, I found uh, out that there are these two points below the typewriter and they are threaded and um, I thought these would be ideal for attaching the bar later on and uh, since I am in metric country uh, I had to re-tap these M6 but uh, if you're living in the USA where most of these typewriters are then uh, that should be no problem just uh, putting a regular uh, quarter inch bolt or whatever that is into there and uh, basically overcome the backspace problem. So uh, we'll now, uh, I'll now uh, show this dry, how this is uh, assembled, would be assembled inside the typewriter, how this works. And uh, then we'll assemble it actually into the typewriter and um, then we'll mount the circuit board. Okay, so uh, these are the bolts that I turned down. They are regular M6 by 30 mm length bolts and uh, basically I didn't uh, have any big enough um, springs and I also uh, didn't want to risk these binding on the threads so I turned these down smoothly to 5 mm, no 4 mm and then on the very end I turned a, a small portion of M4 thread on there to act as a keeper so uh, not everything is jumping out and uh, I made two of these and basically these are going to be attached from below into the typewriter then you're going to put up the uh, spring and then this bar here comes into action and it goes onto there you can imagine it's going to be a little bit fiddly underneath the typewriter but uh, then you're going to have the nut there to keep it and basically you then have the spring action so this is fixed and each time a key will, stri uh, will strike, it's going to press a little bit down. And that on uh, both sides the same way. So now we're going to mount it underneath the typewriter so you can get an idea of this. Okay, now you see the uh, board installed here and you can see it's able to spring back and forth. 
and uh, I chose the M6 by 30 length screws uh, deliberately because right at the moment none of the types is making contact. There is still space in between. And now just if I strike a key then it's going to make contact with the bottom here. So now the springs are doing their work and each time I'm jamming this just shortly before the end of the stroke. Here, right here it's contacting and now is the end of the stroke. And uh, this is the moment where this makes contact and tells the circuitry which key has been hit. So now all that's missing is a circuit board. It's going to be attached by either hot glue or maybe even super glue will work. And uh, then we'll see how it works. Okay, we got the kit installed and um, well I'll just give you a couple of seconds to see whether you can spot the differences well the main difference of course on the side is this control panel uh, this is the circuit board which uh, converts the signals from underneath to signals that the computer actually understands and uh, then we've got a couple of uh, magnet switches here for the backspace then for the space bar and for the capital letters uh, for the shift lever and uh, when you look underneath here we have the circuit board get this a little bit closer uh, here we have the circuit board which is now touching each time you type a letter and uh, here you can see the cables running from the magneto switches uh, down to the circuit board and um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. I mean, when you when you put it uh, right side up, just like that, nobody would ever notice that something is different about this machine. I mean, it functions just as well as before. And uh, as I said, while writing, you don't notice any difference with, of course, uh, the add-on that you can now type onto a computer with it. So just plug in the USB cable here and then here you go. That's how you convert your typewriter into a digital keyboard. It's really funny how this works. Uh, I want to show you a little close-up of uh, how the contacts are touching and um, that will then conclude the video. Okay, um, here you go. There is the gold-plated contact from the circuit board. And uh, when I press the Q key, for example, you'll see how that goes down and hits that one same thing with the A key and uh, so on all the keys hit uh, the contacts here and uh, thereby make an electric circuit and that is then uh, recognized by the circuit board uh, by the way I didn't glue this on uh, like um, USB typewriter tells you to do this I just uh, glued two magnets on the back so that I don't damage the paint and I can remove it anytime I want. And here's another view from the bottom and here you can see how each key can hit the uh, circuit board and every time the spring uh, puts it back into its original position. By the way, I have checked it out and uh, this will al also work with regular M5 bolts so you can skip basically the whole uh, machining process of the bolts and just uh, take regular M5 bolts. Uh, they won't stick onto these springs. Uh, I will also include um, a uh, drawing for the bar with the two holes drilled and for the length and data of these screws. Uh, so that you can replicate this principle if you don't like to use uh, if you don't like to lose your backspace key which as you can see I didn't and uh, and also another nice feature is that you can deactivate the entire 
uh, linkage by just screwing these two bolts down and then basically now uh, the keys aren't touching again. So if you don't want it digital uh, for typing something, for example a letter or so where you don't need a digital copy, then just screw these bolts out and when you need it again, just screw it in again. Alright, that concludes my video on how to install the USB set on the Underwood typewriter without harming it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Also, um, look at my other video where I show this thing in action and um, where I also show why the hell I wanted this set. So, thanks for watching and bye bye.